The final entry on my list of beginner tips is simple information rather than any method or philosophy. If you get stuck in Photoshop, I'll show you how to get help without ever leaving the program. So where do we go for help inside Photoshop? Well, I've got a list of a couple of different things here. And the first one is the most obvious one, and that's the help menu. So come up here to the help menu and let's check out our options. First, we have Photoshop help. That seems pretty straightforward, and technically it's not inside Photoshop because as soon as we click on this, it's gonna take us to Adobe Online, and yes, I have an update available that I'll download later, uh, but it is technically inside Photoshop because we accessed it inside Photoshop, and it comes up in a little Adobe window. Um, here you're gonna find all of the reference that you need to use Photoshop, workspace, opening and importing image, all the basics are gonna be located here and you can click any of these drop down menus to get a little bit more information on any of them. The second thing we have is getting started in tutorials. So if we click on that, Adobe's got some fantastic tutorials. And again, this is technically online, but it's also technically inside Photoshop. So what's new in CS5, learning more, a bunch of different options. We go back a, a step here. We have the forums. The forums are great because, because they're made up of people like you and I as well as, as well as professionals who use Adobe Photoshop every single day in their creative endeavors. The last option here is CS Live, and that also can be found over here at the top. I'm going to close out of this and just show you the options inside the CS Live menu. We drop this down. First, you're going to have to set up access to CS Live and a few other online services, and you just do this by logging into your Adobe account. Uh, then we have the Adobe browser lab what what the adobe browser lab basically is is it helps you figure out the best way to approach all the different browsers in terms of uh, designing websites cs review is pretty cool this actually lets you submit artwork and you'll receive feedback then on it so you can figure out some great ways to improve your art site catalyst according to the tooltip here it says it gets the latest internet trends to help optimize your web projects if you're a user of Adobe Story, you can log into that here. Creative Suite News and Resources, then you can manage your account and explore other CS Live services. So that's number one. Number two is tooltips. Adobe has gone out of their way with this iteration to make sure that every single item here has a tooltip of some sort. Even Saturn Infrared Borealis, you can see, is literally the name of that image. Hike 12 over here, if you can't see the rest of what Untitled 1 says, it shows you that it's an RGB, 8-bit, 100% uh, image size right now. Over to the left on the toolbar, everything has a tooltip, which tells you the name of the tool as well as the shortcut. Up here, we see that if we click that, it launches Bridge. This will launch Mini Bridge, etc. So basically, if you don't know how to use something, hover over it and Photoshop will give you a little bit of a hint as to what the function of that is. Number three is a cool one. And that is the info panel. If you don't see it here in the panels, simply go up to window, drop down to info, click on that, or you can press F8 as you saw. Look at this right here. Click and drag to paint in or paint out selection. Use shift, option, and command for additional options. Well, it just so happens that we're using the quick selection tool. So if we do what it says, we've selected all the white here. And now we've selected some more white. We can use shift to add to the existing selection. We can use command to move the selection. Well, we could if it wasn't locked. <laughs> and we can use option to deselect some of these areas. And all of this, it tells us right here, when I hold down option, it says that that subtracts from the existing selection. When I hold down control, it says click and drag to move layer or selection. And then when I hold shift, it just tells us that it's going to add to the existing selection. So this info panel right here tells you how to use each of the tools in the toolbar. And the last thing I have for you inside of Photoshop is your history. We can access the history panel right over here by clicking this icon. And yes, you can see the tooltip comes up. So we click on that. This shows us the last few moves that we made, and they're all selections in this case. But watch this. Here's one great thing that's of help. Not necessarily the history panel, but the history feature itself. So here we have a brush. And we'll just grab one of these large brushes here. And let's say we're gonna start to paint out Justin over here. 
Well, first, let me get a color that you guys will see. Let's say we'll start to paint out, uh, you know, the area around Justin right here. And now let's say we, oops, right over his shoulder. Well, one great way to help, control Z and undo. We've gone over this when we talked about the history panel, when we went over the different shortcuts, and when we went over the edit menu, command option Z or control alt Z will back us up a few steps. Control shift Z or command shift Z will send us forward a few steps. This is absolutely helpful probably the most assistance that you're going to get out of any of the tools in Photoshop is going to come from your history. That's because when you're drawing, especially when you're drawing in the way, with a Wacom tablet before you get used to it, you're going to make some mistakes. That leads me to my last beginner tip in terms of seeking help inside Photoshop. Number five in seeking help inside Photoshop is experiment. You absolutely have to experiment. You have to play around with these tools. You have to figure out how everything works. If you don't, chances are you're gonna find yourself spending way too much time on the internet looking up each individual thing instead of creating fantastic art. And that's really what it's all about. Whether you're into photography or illustration or design, we're here in Photoshop to make our lives easier to create some fantastic art. Let nothing get in the way of the creative process. Definitely, definitely, definitely use your time and experiment inside Photoshop. Well, that's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below and send any questions that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.